Welcome to ContenderCast, a global leadership and consumer industries entrepreneurship podcast centered on shining a light on bright ideas. And now, here's your host, Justin Hahnemann. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for downloading. Thanks for subscribing and following. It's Justin Hahnemann on the ContenderCast. We're shining a light on bright ideas. This morning, it's going to be a little spicy. I cannot even wait. Can you imagine adding like spice to your toothpaste? I know. Yeah, it's real. It's very, very cool. Rainer Eagles is on CEO and founder of Chili. I mean, this is the first. I just have to tell you, Rainer, I, I could when I saw your info, I'm like, when can we schedule? So it's so great to have you on the show. Yeah. Hey, Justin, thanks for having me. Good awesome. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, thanks for getting up early with me. Um, man, so exciting. Can't wait to learn about your, this endeavor. And uh, man, it's, it's, I, I think you've got a real angle here and it's exciting um, and spicy. <laughs> so before we jump into Chile, how about share with our audience a little bit about you and some of the things you, you were doing before deciding to go and jump in and launch your own brand? Sure. Yeah. So from Virginia Beach, Virginia, um, after graduating from UVA, getting my undergrad there, um, I went on to work for a D2C mattress company. So have been in, to, in the D2C space for um, eight, nine years now, um, working across a number of roles, marketing, um, customer service stint for a little bit, retail, all of that. So yeah, that's a little bit about my background and um, yeah, I love it. That's so great. Obviously, you're in the e-commerce space. You understand direct to consumer, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to launch a business, and you decide it's going to be toothpaste in the personal care category, and you're going to spice it up, right? So, tell us like how this idea even evolved, and um, let's dive in. Sure. Yeah. So, not a ton of experience in CPG, but I was brushing my teeth, and I was like, man, this is kind of boring. Uh-huh. I was using something like Colgate Crest and as someone that likes spicy food or just intense flavors, I was like, you too. Yeah. Yeah. I, totally. I heard that episode with um, Disco Hot Sauce. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were just on a couple um, weeks ago. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And, and, you know, so I actually just went out and bought a bunch of toothpaste that claim to be intense, have extreme mint, menthol, all of that. And it was all really the same, to be honest. So I was like, hey, what? maybe we just go for it. And so, you know, we decided on the angle we wanted to go with. Do we go with like extremely minty or shoot? You know, everyone's trying to claim that area with the toothpaste. So let's throw some ghost pepper flakes in there too and make it spicy. So we decided to um, hire a flavor house um, that specializes in toothpaste. And yeah. The, the rest is history. Uh, they're off and running. Man, I love that. So, um, okay. So, what was the, did you know it was going to do, you were going to go spicy from the beginning or were you playing with different flavors? And then how did you figure out like the mix to make it taste palatable? <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, people that are familiar with hot peppers, especially the super hots like ghost peppers or Carolina Reapers, they don't always necessarily taste great you know so we didn't want a toothpaste that tasted like a hot pepper that people call it earthy but that's really just saying you know it's it kind of tastes like dirt um so (laughs) yeah we we decided to use um natural spearmint um and peppermint oils and and we have got a lot of inspiration from some of these natural brands out there so david's like things like that. So we've taken out all SLS and parabens and um, artificial flavors and dyes and all of that is stripped out. So we knew we wanted something that was um, natural too. And and then, yeah, we, for a while, we messed around with which pepper to use, how to get the heat. You know, we were getting samples that weren't hot enough. And so um, we also didn't want to scare people away with the heat. But during that process, we, we learned a lot about, um, come to find out that capsaicin has some benefits to killing oral, oral bacteria called streptococcus mutans. Interesting. Which, um, wow. Yeah, yeah. So That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So great packaging. Also, um, I, I think it looks really sharp. How did you figure that out? Nor did somebody like, you know, help you with different package sizes and, and how do you put toothpaste in the tube? Yeah. Yeah, definitely want it to pop off the shelf and 
uh, we got some inspiration from brands like Liquid Death and kind of what they've done within the water category and said, okay, let's, we're putting spicy ghost pepper and um, toothpaste. Let's make the branding and packaging kind of look like that too. So, um, yeah, I hired a designer that I used to work with and we went to town kind of just iterating over the course of a few months. I love it, man. It's, it looks great. And then, like, how do you mass produce this? Like, and, and do you mass produce? How do you figure out how much to make at a time f- to meet your orders and, and whatnot? How do you think about that? Yeah, when it comes to toothpaste, and I call it a lot of um, manufacturers, it was tough to do like an MVP run, like a thousand units. So we really had to jump in with two feet and um, order quite a bit 15, 16,000 units. Wow. So, um, yeah, yeah. So we worked with a tube supplier that took a while to nail down someone that could do what we really wanted to with the tube, get the price right. Um, so we're, yeah, fortunately, we don't have to place a lot of frequent orders. It's more just smaller or, or larger orders in frequent right. Got it. Okay. And then, so you're selling direct to consumer. How have you been building brand awareness or building, you know, awareness of people to come shop uh, besides coming on this podcast? <laughs> yeah. When we launched, we had like $0 in the bank, you know, <laughs> so we have done a lot of uh, guerrilla marketing, getting um, toothpaste out to people with followings on social media, just hitting them up, say, Hey, you know, um, I'm the founder of this brand would love for you to try it. If you create a video, great. If not, at least, you know, give me some feedback on the product. And that's really worked well for us. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Wow. And then, um, at, so is there a plan also to get into retail stores or you're sticking with direct to consumer short term? What does that look like? Yeah. I mean, want to build a brand online and, um, but retail is important, right? I think especially in the CPG space where it's more of like a volume play with lower margin products. Um, we have partnered with Urban Outfitters, so we also sell toothpicks, which um, I haven't talked about much, but uh, they sell our toothpicks across all of their stores in the U.S. and then our toothpaste online, which is exciting. But yeah, this year, certainly looking to um, get in touch with a few other retailers. That's good. And then is because you bought such big quantities, you have to buy in big quantities, does that keep the cost low per unit? You know what I mean? So you can have a better margin. What does that look like? Yeah, you know, the people that produce for us also produce for like the big guys, you know, so a 16,000 unit run for them, while it sounds like a lot to you and I, I don't think it is for them, you know, and we're putting some unique ingredients in there, you know, it being like a natural toothpaste. Going into it, I had a price in my mind and we kind of exceeded that. But hey, I guess that's just comes with the territory of totally. the product. You know? Man, you're just getting going, you know? Um, super exciting. Okay, so what do the next six to 12 months look like? What do you need to do to grow? Um, keys to like having this thing, like, you know, really take off. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I want to invest in other marketing channels. You know, now that we do have some cash rolling in, uh, build the brand through you know Facebook and Instagram, other social media paid paid platforms. Um, more sampling too. Uh, you know, whenever I'm down, I'll go on Amazon and read the reviews. The reviews are great, so I think it's just like get people to try it. You know, and then I'm happy to give that first tube away, and I'm confident that they'll come back and buy more. So that's really key to kind of get it out there. And of course, talk to more retailers again. Yeah, totally. Makes sense. Um, I always love to ask our guests, like some of their biggest lessons learned, um, your early days, um, with, you know, your, your brand chili talk about those, some of the things you've already learned and, and just getting the brand off the ground, um, and launched. Yeah. I mean, I think as an entrepreneur, there's going to be days where you get up, especially running a spicy toothpaste brand and right. say, oh, gosh, what am I doing? You know? <laughs> um, and, and so uh, I, I get, um, I've talked a lot about inspiration, but I'll turn on like a podcast sometimes and hear, you know, these other founders that have built hundred million dollar companies talk about how, how long it takes, you know, this, these things aren't, um, overnight successes. And so you've got to keep going. Um, that's kind of just one thing, keeping the attitude going and, uh, it helps being passionate about the product, passionate about the brand and everything you're doing. And 
And that certainly helps. So I, I'd say that's like top of mind. For Dude, sure. uh, totally makes sense. Um, and by the way, I love the Amazon store for chili. It looks really sharp, like really sharp. And oh, you. dude, you're almost five stars like on the product. It's great. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, so cool. Uh, share with our audience where they can find you, connect with you, learn more, buy product outside of Amazon, etc. Yeah, definitely. You can go to chilimouth.com, um, Chili Mouth on Amazon. We are Chili Mouth on Instagram, Chili Toothpaste on TikTok. So check us out there. Buy a tube on Urban Outfitters um, and awesome. feel free to reach out. It's rainer at chilimouth.com is my email. Always Love happy it. to hear from people. Dude, that's great. Thanks so much for being here, Rainer. It's so great meeting you. You got to come back on, man. Your early days, like, but it'll be fun to see like as you grow and as you get more presence. And I think you, you absolutely should be getting into retail. It's, it's got to be a next um, click for you. And so look forward to having you back on down the road, man. Yeah, great. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate you having me. The Contender Cast is powered by Contender Brands and is the top global consumer industries entrepreneurship podcast. You can find additional Contender Cast episodes on worldwide podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Spotify, iHeartMedia, YouTube, and other preferred podcast platforms. If you would like to be a guest on the Contender Cast, connect with us at contendercast.com. This is Brian Benson reminding you that every winner started as a contender.